Hey YouTube, what's up? Just thought I'd take a minute to share how I keep track of my breeding program with my rabbit tree. This is an Excel document that I made. On the top you have the buck. Over here it lists which doe we're talking about. For this particular page it's doe 1 who's located in cage 1. This is the old statistics right here, but I just bred her again the other day. So all I'm going to do is take these, and I'm going to copy them, paste them right next door. On the top, I put in which buck she was bred with. In this case, it was also buck A. So I go ahead and input that. I'll go ahead and copy the kit tracking portion as well. Paste that over in the side also for a new breeding. Okay, in this case, I bred her on the 4th, so I'm going to go ahead and enter in the 4th here. Now what it tells me is that I need to check her for pregnancy on the 18th, I need to put the nest box in on the 1st, and this is when the kit should be born, is on 4-4. Now this line here with the actual birth date, this is something I need to go and enter in manually at some point in the future. But for the immediate term, right now I know I have to mess around with doe 1 again on the 18th. So this is very handy for keeping track of multiple does within a single breeding program. By knowing when to put in the nest box, I'm not guessing maybe it's too early, maybe it's too late. Now if you do put the nest box in too early, the doe is going to poop and pee in it. It's going to become an unsanitary environment for the newborn kits once they do arrive somewhere around the 4th. Now well, let's just say we get our little delivery of kits. Let's say they come in on the 5th. They're a day later than anticipated. The way I've written this program is it uses the actual birth date, tells me when to remove the nest box, when to begin weaning the kits, when I need to be done weaning the kits, and when is the earliest possible day that it's okay to rebreed the dough without any kind of harm. This is all very handy. The next portion of this is the actual kit tracker portion. The kit tracker will tell me who the dad was, tells me when they were born, when they're weaned, when I can sell them, also tells me when I need to separate them by gender if I'm going to keep them, and when they each need their own individual cages if I decide to add them to my breeding program. And I've also taken another step further and given an approximate date on when I should be looking at starting to breed these new additions to my breeding program. So this is also very handy for keeping track of it. Now separate cages each, you could also, that's about when they're fryer size, so that also works as a, uh, a good date to slaughter as well. Down on the bottom portion I've added this to keep track of the kits so I can determine when my does are no longer being as productive and I can also look at the data set over time and determine you know which buck is actually producing more babies, buck A or buck B, what have you. So let's say there's um, I don't know five boys and maybe four girls this time around. So it's going to add them up, tell me there's nine in the litter, and my aggregate total for this doe is 17. Also very handy for keeping track of my breeding program over time. Down on the bottom of the Excel document, I've taken the pages. And I've simply made, renamed them Doe 1, Doe 2, color coordinate them, so on and so forth. So this makes keeping track of multiple does along with multiple bucks that they were bred with up here on top very, very simple. It also creates somewhat of a pedigree record so I can tell who's related to who and who's okay to breed with who. So feel free to comment and thanks for watching.